Hello everyone. Welcome to JJK Master Class. Guys, today's video is from group theory and we have already covered many topics and the problems on group theory, the topics like uh, you have to how to find out the point groups and the symmetry operations, how to calculate the order of group and subgroup how to find and calculate the reducible and irreducible representations, mutual exclusion principle and normal modes of molecules and its vibration. In today's video, we will be seeing what is transition probability, what are the selection rules for ion and Raman spectra and direct product method. First, we will see transition probability. So transition probability like uh, the we are talking about here vibrations. So we will be seeing the IR spectra since IR is the infrared radiation and we find the vibrational transition here. So which transitions will be allowed, which will be forbidden. We have certain selection rule for that. And so this is called the transition probability. So this is the formula or you can say the integral psi n mu psi m so what does it mu means dipole moment and psi n and psi m are the wave function in the ground state and higher vibrational state so this basically the probability the transition probability depends on these three factors and we know that the, uh, which type of molecule shows you the ir spectra the one which where you find the change in the dipole moment during the vibration so we have written the mu for dipole moment here. Now, which transition will be allowed and which will be forbidden? So, if this transition, you can see this integral vanishes. Vanishes means if this integration gives you zero value, then the transition is forbidden. And if this is giving you the non-zero value, then it is a allowed transition. So, basically, for allowed transition, the integration value should be non-zero. Similarly, you have the selection rule for Raman spectra and since Raman spectra depends on the polarizability, the change in the polarizability, here we indicate with alpha and psi n and psi m are the wave function for the ground and excited vibrational state here and same way you can say the transition will be forbidden and allowed. If it is vanishes, it is forbidden and if it is non-zero or non-vanishing, then it is a allowed transition. Now, the question is, since and how to find out because this integration is given by the quantum mechanical uh, evaluation methods and it is very difficult to find out the calculations uh, in which condition it is giving you zero or non-zero. So here comes a easy method under group theory. This is called the direct product method. By using this method we can find out that if it gives you the direct product method gives you the most symmetrical representation of a group then it is equal to the non-vanishing integral means the transition will be allowed. So basically by using this direct product method if you are getting the most symmetrical representation we will see what is that by taking one example then it is a allowed transition. The formula will be chi a b is equal to chi a and chi b we will see what is that chi for the characters here. So we will take one example to understand this matter. Let's take the C3V point group and this is the character table. I hope uh, you have already uh, done the character tables and how to find out the point groups and its symmetry operations. If you have not, then I will share the link in the description box. You can just go and find out the video and watch it. So C3V has three symmetry operations here. You can see E, 2, C3 and 3, Sigma V. Basically, the order of the group is the total symmetry operation. So, it is 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6 is the order of the group here and it has three class. One is the identity element, the second is the C3 principal axis and the third class is vertical plane. These are A1, A2, E are the irreducible representations and this is the character. So, this is the character table and how to find out the direct product representation? So let's take one example here. Let's take the, the direct product you have to find out by the multiplication of two irreducible representation. Let's take they have given you A1 into A1. Means you have to multiply the character 
of A1 two times for each symmetry operation. So 1 into 1 will give you 1. 1 into 1 will give you 1 again and plus 1 into plus 1 is giving you 1. So you can say all are giving you the positive value and this is the most symmetrical representation of the group. So where you are getting all positive, positive value, so it has the most symmetrical representation and so we, we can say this particular transition is allowed transition, all positive value. If they give you let's say the direct product you have to find out a1 into A2, then you have to multiply the characters of both. It will give you 1 into 1 positive all and 1, 1 into 1, 1, plus 1 into minus 1 will give you minus 1. And so you are getting here 1, 1, minus 1, which is not a most symmetrical. But if you, if they ask you to find out the irreducible representation for it, A1, A2, then you have to match in the character table where you have this particular character table. So here you can see for A2 you have 1, 1, minus 1. So if you want to find out the irreducible representation for this direct product A1, A2, it is A2. For A1, A1, it is the irreducible representation, it belongs to A1 because it is for A1 it is giving. We will see again by taking the and solving couple of problems. A1, E means you have to multiply the character of A1 and E which gives you 2, minus 1 and 0. 2, minus 1, 0 you can find in the character table it is given for E. And so the irreducible representation for this particular 2, minus 1, 0 is E here. I haven't symbolized here. We will see by solving the problem. If they give you A to E, similarly you can multiply it. E into E then you have to multiply the character of the same e two times and it will give you 4, 1, 0. This is again positive value but this is called reducible representation because you can reduce it again since it is not given in the character table. So you can reduce it. The previous four were the irreducible representation while this one is reducible representation and we can reduce it. We will see now. So basically C3B point group, uh, ammonia is the best example for this point group and since I have already covered this video on how to find out the normal modes of vibration for ammonia uh, and it gives us 2A1 plus 2E. If you haven't watched it, I will share the link, you can find it uh, from the description box. So since for ammonia we have uh, allowed transition, you can say 2A1 plus 2E, that means the 2A1 means you have to multiply A1 two times and the direct product you can see here it gives us the most symmetrical representation and so it is the non-zero integration and basically it is an allowed transition. So we can say IR active vibration. This particular vibration is IR active and it is an allowed transition. Similarly if you find for 2E 2E basically if you find here 410 as I told you it is reducible. So you just have to see from the character table how you can get 4. So 4 we can get if you sum A1 plus A2 plus E. 1 plus 1 plus 2 it is giving you 4 right. Similarly 1 plus 1 minus 1 will give you 1. So you are getting 1 here. Plus 1 minus 1 will give you 0 and ultimately the answer is 0. So basically this particular reducible representation is having A1 plus A2 plus E, irreducible representation. Since this particular E into E is having A1 into A8, which is the most symmetrical representation, you can see, we can say that the particular transition is allowed transition and it is IR active. Right. So this is how like if any the definition also says that the direct product transform to the most symmetrical representation then it is equivalent to non-vanishing integral. And since also this E into E possesses A1 here which is a most symmetrical it is allowed transition and so it is IR active. So by using this direct product method it is very simple to find out the following transition will be allowed or forbidden. The minus 1 will give you the forbidden transition. And similarly, you can find out the Raman activity. So this is another form of a, a full form of character table of C3B point group. 
where we have area 1, area 2, area 3 and area 4. Area 3 represent the IR activity, area 4 represent the Raman activity. And since we can say for this quadratic uh, you have A1 uh, representation and for this it is E representation. A1 and E uh, both are here gives you the most symmetrical representation and so it is Raman active as well. So, in this way you can find out the direct product of the two will give you the most symmetrical one and so it is Raman active. You can solve and find out such questions in the question paper especially for MSc students. Explain the term transition probability integral. So, if this question comes to you, you can explain the transition probability for IR spectra and Raman spectra. Similarly, they can ask another question, write a note on direct product relationship. So, you can explain the direct product method by taking one example. You can take either C2V or C3V point group to explain your answer. Another form of question is, they may give you a character table here and ask you find the direct product and its irreducible components for the given Okay, direct product. So, how to do it? You have the character for A1 and A2. You just have to multiply. So, it will give you 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. Right? And you have to find out the, in the character table which irreducible representation have it. Okay? So, we will see this later. First, we will multiply. Another also, B1 into E means you have to multiply B1 character with E character. So, which will give you 2, 0, minus 2, 0 and 0, right? So, once you got this, this is the direct product. The answer was like they were asking you find the direct product. So, direct product you have already calculated, right? Now, they are asking irreducible component. So, now we will compare this A1, A2, you are having 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1. See, if we notice A2 irreducible representation is having this character list, right? character component. So, this particular direct product is having A2 irreducible representation. Similarly, you can see 2, 0, minus 2, 0, 0. It is giving for E irreducible representation. So, we can say this particular direct product is having E irreducible representation. And this is how you have to solve this question, which is very easy. Similarly, I got this question. From your previous year question paper and they are again asking you some direct product. I hope you can pause the video and solve it yourself and verify your answer. Same way you have to multiply the character T1 into T2. So, we will give you 9, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. You can see this list is not given in the character table means this is a reducible representation. And we have to find out which combination is giving you this, okay, this particular reducible representation. We will do that. So, first just find out the direct product E into T1. Multiply it and you will get 6, 0, minus 2, 0, 0. E into E will give you the most symmetrical 4, 1, 4, 0, 0. Now, we will find first irreducible component for T1 and T2. Since it is giving you 9 here, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. So, we have to see T1 into T2 is giving you if you add A2 plus E plus T1 plus T2. You just see here 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9. So, you are getting 9 here. Then 1 minus 1 is giving you 0. So, ultimately you are getting 0. If you take here uh, again you can just see uh, 1 plus 2, 3 minus 2 is plus 1. So, we are getting plus 1 here. And again, you can see for S4, it is, you are getting minus 1 here. And similarly, you are getting sigma d minus 1. If you find any other combination for this, uh, for this particular direct product, this is the only possibility, A2 plus E plus T1 plus T2. You are getting 9, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. You can try with other also taking A1, but you will not get the same list. Similarly, we have to find out E T1 is having how many irreducible representation? You can see 6 you are getting here. So, you just try T1 plus T2 getting 6, 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1, right? Or plus 1, minus 1 means will give you 0, right? So, here 6, 0, minus 2, 0 and 0. So, this is having T1 and T2 irreducible representation.
Finally, for E, E, we have done that A1 plus A2 plus E. You just find 4 plus 1. Here it is again 4, then 0 and 0. Any other combination you can try, but you will find only this particular combination will give you the same list of reducible representation. So, the question was direct product. This first calculation was for direct product. And then you have to find out the irreducible component. You have seen how many irreducible representations are present. You have to add it here. So, first one with multiplication and second is with addition. I hope uh, you understood how to find out and calculate the direct product and irreducible components. The topic is very important for MSc. And uh, you can see questions in the competitive exam as, as well. So all the best for your exam. See you in the next video.